my name is Tim Fagan with Neptune Chemical Pump, product specialist. And today we're going to go through retrofitting a AC controller, stroke controller, to a 500 series hydraulically actuated pump. First of all, you will get from us the controller along with the adapter that adapts the controller to the pump, the control rod and nut, which gets installed to the shaft of the control. First thing you want to do is get your control rod that's already been connected to the nut that screws into the shaft of the stroke controller. You take the shaft, which is sticking out here, you see the threads, take your controller control rod, and you want to use blue Loctite and put it on the threads, and that's breakable Loctite. And you screw it on to the shaft of the controller. And you want to tighten it down with a, with, with a wrench. Then once you do that, you got to remove the control knob, the manual control knob from the pump. To do that, you take your flat head screwdriver Remove the two screws. Once the screws are removed, you'll have your indicator plate loose here. You take your knob and you just thread it out from the ceiling net that's behind it, which we'll show you in a minute. And just to let you know, same control rod is on the stroke control. You put this aside, you're not gonna be using this anymore. Next, you take an 11 16 inch socket with a ratchet, and you're gonna remove the ceiling nut from the pump. Once you break it loose, you can basically screw it out by hand. You're not going to be using this anymore. You put that to the side. Now we want to put the adapter. The adapter adapts the stroke controller to the pump. Now you'll notice that there is a hole in the adapter. That is a weep hole. That's for if any leak develops in the, into the pump where the ceiling plate is back here, you want to see that leak. All right, so you want your, your hole to be between four and eight o'clock on the pump. So there's washers that come with the stroke controller to adjust that hole. But we'll, we'll screw this on first, see where the hole lands. See, it's way up top, you don't want it there. So we're going to put in, let's put in three. Put it right against the ceiling plate in the back. And there you go. The hole is at about five o'clock, which is just about perfect. And you want to get yourself a strap wrench and you strap and you want to tighten down the adapter. Once that's tightened down, you take your stroke controller. You already have your control rod installed. You'll see that there's threads it's going to thread right, right into the adapter. Your control rod goes right into the ceiling plate. It's got to do some maneuvering. And you start spinning the controller. Now this nut that, that tightens down the controller to the pump, when you tighten it down, you want to see at least one to two threads. This is like three. So I want to give it one more turn. And when you're tightening down the nut to the adapter, you want to see about two threads on the, on the controller. If you see more than two threads, you want to give this controller another rotation, then tighten it down. And you just get yourself a, a flathead screwdriver, put it to one of the notches, and tap on the screwdriver to tighten it to the adapter. 
and then you're finished and that's how you retrofit a stroke controller to a 500 series pump.